All right, so we've already learned how to thread the machine. We've got our top thread threaded, we've got our bobbin thread threaded, and now we need to learn about stitches. So our first stitch that we're learning today is the straight stitch. We want our width on zero, because it's not a zigzag, zero. We want our length on two and a half or three, so it's a medium length stitch. And we want our stitch selector set to straight stitch, which is that one. So you're going to lift up your bobbin thread, fish for it. All your settings are correct. We put our little window back on. And using Dakota's as an example, <clears throat> you're going to lower the needle with your hand wheel turning towards you into your road. You're going to lower your presser foot. That's the little car. Notice our headlight is on so we can see. And then we're going to step on the gas. Our gas pedal's down there. All right, it's just like a car. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're not just going to like drive to grandma's house. We're going to pull out of the driveway and then we're going to back up and then we're going to drive to grandma's house. Then we're going to back up again and then we're going to go pull in the driveway. And that's called a back stitch or a lock stitch and that keeps our stitching in place so that the clothes don't fall apart after we make them. So here we go. Oh, and there's no steering wheel on your car, but you get to steer the road. All right. So our needles in the uh, fabric. So you're going to sew a couple stitches forward. We're going to hold our reverse button down to sew a couple of stitches backwards. Oh gosh. So we're going to lower our needle into the fabric. We're going to step on our gas. We're going to sew out of the driveway. Then we're going to reverse and go backwards a couple three stitches back to, back to our house. And now you sew all the way down to grandma's house, but you have to steer the road. Go in a straight line. And then when you get to the end of the line that you've drawn, you go backwards, a couple stitches, and then go forwards, and then you're done. Then you turn your hand wheel towards you and raise the needle, lift your foot, gently pull your fabric away. You can use the thread snips to clip oh. that off. And you're done, and that is a straight stitch. And that's what we're going to do. Straight Pretty stitch. Straight. Yay! So, we're going to learn two different techniques now. We're going to learn how to turn a corner, and we're going to learn how to sew in a spiral, which you will never actually do, but you do need to learn how to sew around or to sew a curved seam. So, the way that you sew turning a corner is you never try to start in the corner, you start in the middle. And I've drawn a little box, and we're going to do it the same way. We're going to use our regular straight stitch. We're going to, oops. Pause. So we're going to lower our needle into our line and lower our presser foot and you're going to approach the corner with using your foot, but the last couple of stitches you want to do by turning your hand wheel towards you so that you get the needle in the exact center of that corner. And you're, the secret is you're going to leave the needle in. Now we're going to raise our presser foot. We're going to pivot our fabric, and then we're going to lower the presser foot again and keep sewing. And that's how you turn a corner. Now, second trick is sewing in a curve or a spiral. The secret with that is you have to start in the middle where it's the curviest, like following the yellow brick road. And you have to have the road in front of you because your machine will not go sideways or backwards. So if you start with the road curving in, you always want to aim the road in between the two toes of the foot. So lower your needle, lower your foot, and then you're, you're going to go slow when you're driving with your feet, but fast with your hands spinning the fabric. And there you go. <laughs> so that is how you, y'all are laughing. That is how you turn a corner 
and go in a spiral. Yay. <laughs> okay. Oh, you ready to tell me when you're ready? Now we're going to learn the zigzag stitch. So for our zigzag stitch, we want our width setting to be anything bigger than zero. Anything, doesn't matter. We leave our length the same and we turn our stitch selector setting to zigzag. And then you're going to do it exactly the same way that you did your straight stitch. You're going to put your fabric under the foot. You're going to lower your needle. The needle is not going to follow the line that you're sewing on, but it's going to go, it's going to hop, skip, and jump across the line that you're sewing. And you don't have to back stitch when you do a zigzag. Raise your needle, pull your fabric away. There you go, zigzag. Except I should have used a darker color thread. Oh, look there. Now, <laughs> zigzag. You can see it. Awesome. All right. Uh, yep. Okay, so our last stitch is a basting stitch. And we're going to go back to our width on zero. And we're going to take our length all the way over to whatever you have on your machine that's the biggest on these machines it's four and then back to the straight stitch the difference between a straight stitch and a basting stitch is that a basting stitch has longer stitches so they're easier to pull out when you're done with whatever you're doing it's not a permanent method of making a seam so here we go we're gonna put the needle in the fabric and we're not gonna back stitch and we're just going to sew straight to Grandma's house. And pull your needle up, pull your fabric away. Done. And you probably can't see this, but the stitches are a whole lot longer than the straight stitch. And those are the three stitches that we're doing. Yay!